Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 27th of August. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 14. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. We have been talking about how important it is to have a, a, pure, a heart that is pure, that, that has been transformed by the grace of God, because everything that is in your heart is going to come out. It's either people will see it on, in, your, in your faith, face, or you people will know by the words that come, words that come out of your mouth. And the text is saying that the person who is not a righteous person is going to feed himself on the folly that comes out of his mouth. The danger of having a heart that is not being purified, that we are going to continually be uh, contaminating ourselves with the things that, comes, things that come out of our mouths. Words from the mouth of a wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. Interesting. We are consumed. We can be consumed by our own lips, but by the words that come out of our mouths. At the beginning, their words are folly. At the end, they are wicked madness. The more, the more you, a person stays on that way, the more, the, the deeper the person will go in, 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 into darkness. Things are not going to get better unless redemption uh, comes. The, the way of the, that person, and uh, things will change. Only redemption can change a person. Only the grace of God can change our hearts. Fools multiply words. No one knows what is coming. Who can tell someone else what will happen after them? We have no, no clue, no idea of what is going to happen, really. Our uh, uh, understanding of, of time and things and that are going to happen, uh, uh, I wouldn't understand is limited. But we just wanted to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And the problem is, m most of people these days, they, 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 don't, uh, they don't care if the words are going to kill, but all they want is to talk. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. Because the anger, uh, my anger is not going to produce the, uh, God's righteousness. That's why James is saying in chapter 1 verse 19 of his book that we should listen more and, and speak less. An unfriendly person pursues selfish, selfish ends and against all sound judgment starts quarrels. Fools find no pleasure in, in understanding but delight in in airing their own opinion. That's the problem. That's our problem. We just don't care. We just want people to know uh, what we think about something. And most of the time we are hurting people. And this text is in Proverbs chapter 18, 1 and 2. So we have to ask God to, to give us his understanding. So we will be able to see things as God sees them. And we're not going to talk just to talk. But we are going to listen to God and we are going to listen to people before we say anything that might hurt people. Because when you hurt people, you are going to hurt yourself. For the time it will come, says James, uh, Timothy, uh, Paul to Timothy, 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4, the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears wanted to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. So, we are going to to speak what we have in our hearts, and we are going to, the more you pursue that sort of, uh, of uh, I, uh, ideology, of idea, the more you, you want to, to be with people like you. Because truth, will, the truth, God's truth, will set us free. And Jesus said, I am the truth. But when, when we don't want to listen to God, we are going to listen to other people who think like us. 
And that's not a good solution. May God bless you. May God help us to understand that it's the truth that comes from God that sets us free. And it's not because you talk and talk and talk that freedom will come to you. God can purify your heart and give you eternal life. And then your words will be completely transformed. God bless you.